hold on. What game are we playing here? We're playing Bunkers and Badasses, baby! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another Tiny Tina Wonderland video, and the game is sort of like an epic Dungeons & Dragons spin-off of the Borderlands series. So we're gonna dive in and break down some of the brand new information about the game and its newly announced classes by Gearbox and 2K. So hopefully by watching this video, it'll help you decide which class is for you. And if you haven't seen my previous Tiny Tina Wonderland video, there's a link above and in the description down below. So guys, if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. And with that being said, let's get back to the video. We'll first start off with the spell shot class. You're basically a wizard with a gun and you'll be able to unleash a constant barrage of spells and bullets. And like wizards in other games, you'll be focusing on ranged combat and you're just an absolute cannon. However, you're a glass cannon and you'll be squishy up close. But not to worry, if things get a little hairy, you have the ability to polymorph, transforming your enemies into fuzzy little animals with a snap of your finger, which is just friggin' hilarious. You'll be able to equip two spells and your spell weaving ability increases spell damage and rate of fire as you cast spells or reload allowing you to seamlessly cycle between different methods of dealing damage. Moving on from there we have the Clawbringer class and I can feel that this class was made for me and I can see this being my main class. So basically a paladin with a spectral hammer that you can throw at your enemies to deal sizzling lightning damage. Or you can slam it down on the ground to create a massive fire nova for AoE attacks. Now you also get a trusty Worming Companion flying around at your side, breathing fire on your enemies and raking them with the razor sharp claws. So if you like paladins and you like your pets and you like support, this class is for you. Just as a recap, the Berserkers are specialists of melee and cryo damage. Their power allows them to become enraged using their action skills. Channel the power of frost to weaponry so that they freeze and shatter their enemies into 100 pieces. Now Berserkers are also able to channel their bloodthirst by leeching life from fallen foes using their dash of occult magic. So if you want to get up and personal then this class is for you. You're basically a frost giant with a gun that can leech life and what more can you ask for? The fourth is the Stabomancer, the sneaky, critical hit focused assassins who summon magic blades and disappear into the shadows at will. Now this class specializes in critical hits and status effects and all the while moving in and out of stealth to score guaranteed critical hits. Now just like the rogues in other games, Stabomancers are fragile but use their superior speed to evade damage and fire their guns while sprinting. So uh, players that love to play the DPS class, assassins, rogue type classes, then this class is for you. The next class that we're going to be talking about is called the Graveborn. Now Graveborns are necromancers and they're all about the dark magic. So if you've ever played EverQuest, the necromancer had a spell called Life Leech and Graveborn have the same mechanic, which is that you're going to sacrifice a percentage of your health to use that spell but that spell will have a lifesteal, and the Graveborn is all about using the dark magic. So your core action skill is called Reaper of Bones, and during the duration of the skill, you'll get bonus lifesteal and magic damage for a duration of time, as your health continuously drains. And your second is Dire Sacrifice, and you're going to be sacrificing 20% of your current health to deal magic damage to all nearby enemies. The Graveborn also has a Demi-Leech companion, where when you cast a spell, the Demi-Leech will also cast a unique spell of their own, which will trigger kill skills to summon hellish minions. Uh, I mean, this class sounds absolutely insane, super super cool, and challenging to play. And the final class is the Spore Warden. Now, the Spore Wardens are the master of nature, think Ranger class. Now their main focus is summoning and working with companions and buffing your team. But just like the spell shot, damaging at a distance and doing a hell of a lot of damage. Now they can summon tornadoes and launch volleys of arcane arrows. 
and their damage is focused on poison damage where they have a toxin spewing mushroom as a companion. Your first attack is called Barrage of Arrows which shoots a ton of arrows at your enemies and your second one is called the Blizzard Attack which will summon Frost Cyclones that seek out your enemies. So a good support class that can boost the ability of your allies while slowing down your enemies and doing a ton of poison damage at a distance. Now this sounds like a very very cool class. Now that we've seen all the classes, I'm curious to what class you guys are leaning towards and most excited for. Leave a comment down below and let me know. And I'm leaning towards the Clawbringer, sounds interesting to me. So don't forget to like, subscribe and watch my last video, The Hilarious Party Animals. And as always guys, thank you for stopping by my channel. I'm Az and thanks for watching.